I tell people like gravity. Do you understand gravity? Gravity's not God. It's not a God. But gravity doesn't care whether you like it or not. Gravity don't care if you're black or white, short, fat, gay, or whatever. It affects everybody the same. That's a principle. It's a principle and it's a law. These represent principles and laws. For example, this is Jehuti. He represents articulate thought, articulate speech, articulate writing, articulate action. Everybody has that in their consciousness. We're not all using it. So Jehuti's not a god. It's something that exists inside of you. So they say Jehuti is the tongue of Bata. He is the voice of Amun. This is the creator. Jehuti is the one that utters the word. And from the word we bring all things into existence. So he's not a god, he, he's a principle, a law of higher consciousness dealing with articulation. Like Baset, Baset, it's not a god or goddess in this case. She represents dance, music, you know. So in her hand is the sistrunk. She's making the noise of the creator. So that's why your baby's rattle looks like that and makes the noise and the baby's attracted to that because that's the a sound of the creator and the women were the musicians in ancient Kemet and so Basset now she's in a zoomorphic sometimes she's depicted just like a cat we are the first to domesticate cats and they like they have a lot of attributes and attitudes like human beings or human beings have a lot of attributes like cats they're very independent you can't put a cat on the leash and start taking him for a walk he don't want to hear that, okay? So, Inpu represents transformation, right? Here's the nature of transformation and Sahu, which people call mummification. But mummy, there's no mummies. Mummy is an Arabic word that has nothing to do with ancient Kemet. So, he prepares the body for the next journey. But Inpu also prepares you for each stage in life when you go through rites of passage. Now the ancients, uh, not the ancients, the, when the Greeks came in and they saw how important Enpu was, the Enpu priest, they saw that he was black and that he wore black. So they thought you're supposed to wear black to funerals. But in Kemet, we wore white to funerals. That's what happens when you get some, just a little bit of information and you don't have all of it. So now we're running around with all black on. He's Aset, the great mother. Here she is with the wings. The first, the concept of an angel comes from ancient Kemet. So when you see the angel, that's not, has nothing to do with Europeans or Greece or Rome. Angels. It just represents flight, consciousness, flight, movement. Okay? And also the wings of various creatures like the falcon, the hawk, the vulture. The vulture is the great mother wings. And the hawk vulture is the largest flying bird in the world, which is the vulture. So since she represents motherhood or mothership, she has the wings like of the vulture. So all of these represent principles and laws that are help governing us. Like we have the principle of air, fire. So we have somebody like Set. Set is more with the principle of fire. Set is like your immune system. People say, well, no, Set's evil. No, Set likes a good rumble, right? Your immune system is fighting all the diseases that's all around us. Right now, if your immune system wasn't working, you wouldn't get back to Virginia. You would die on the way because germs is everywhere. Your immune system is constantly battling. Well, that's Set. Set is preparing. In the boat of Ra, Set is in the front of the boat. And Set says, I am the only one that does, that does this. I slay the enemies of Ra every day. So we need Set. A lot of people don't want to put Set on their altar. But they need Set on their altar to get rid of their enemy. And the enemy sometimes even looks like us. So Set's there to protect you. So it means master your animal nature, but rise to your highest spiritual nature, like as a priest or priestess. So you see, the reason why they don't want you to know this is because this is teaching you good character. Religion does not teach you good character. It just wants you to be faithful. Stay in the box, stay in the box and believe. See, and when you have a belief system, I don't have to prove anything. You just believe. And then if you question that, they say, oh, you're going to hell because you don't believe. No. In ancient Kemet, we show you. So now I want to make the distinction before we get into the crystals. I want to make a distinction between distinction between symptomatic thought and symbolic thought. All religions deal with symbolic thought. I don't have to prove anything. Just believe. Because my book says so. 
And who wrote your book? You know, so we need to deal with that. So that's why Judaism and Christianity both have a real problem with women. You have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. What happened to the sister? So they came from a woman. And so in ancient Kemet, giving homage to the female energy was just as important as the male energy. Okay, so that's extremely important. So we don't want to put you in a box because the whole universe is yours.